Here's a TV antenna I found at the dollar store. It's one of those bat wing antennas. It costs three bucks. And yes, it is refurbished, but it's pretty much new. I thought I'd test it out, see how it works. And taking it out of the box, it uh, needs a little bit of assembly, but looks like it can be done with just a Phillips screwdriver. There is a thin film of plastic on these elements. Okay, now that it's fully assembled, we're going to test it out against a set of rabbit ears. And just for reference, the entire antenna is about 30 inches long. And before we go any further, this antenna is designed to pick up UHF signals as well as high VHF. At first, I tried mounting the antenna on the wall facing the broadcast tower in my area. I tried several spots but couldn't find decent reception anywhere. I don't know if it had to do with the antenna being so close to electrical wires in the wall, building materials, or what the problem was. So in light of that, I decided to mount this antenna on a little pedestal and see if that helped. And to keep this experiment Fair and honest, I've mounted the dollar store antenna right at about the same height as the tops of the rabbit ear elements, and I'll also be using the same piece of coax cable for each test. The rabbit ears kept a stable picture with signal readings ranging from 53 to 69%. And the dollar store antenna surprised, registering a signal strength ranging from 65 to 77 percent. And here's the final results. I was really surprised by the performance of this antenna after I mounted it to the post. That made it much easier to move around the room and aim at the direction of the broadcast towers. If I had simply left it hanging on the wall hoping for the best, I probably wouldn't have bothered to make this video.